Hey everybody, it's Janice with Creating Through Chaos, and we're going to start this project off today with this pumpkin from Dollar Tree. It's just a pumpkin cutout, and I'm going to take a ruler about two inches up from the bottom and draw myself a line. And I painted the top half orange. I'm not sure why it didn't end up on video. And then I'm going to tape off that orange. I'm just going to use some masking tape, lay it across all that orange. And then I'm going to paint the bottom half with an off-white color. I think it was like an antique white or ivory white. I'm going to make sure that tape's stuck really well because I don't want any of this paint on the orange. Once I have that all painted, I'm going to take some burnt umber and paint the stem. Kind of give it a little curve to match the curve of the pumpkin. Next, I'm going to take these stencils from Dollar Tree. They're self-adhesive. Um, you can peel the backing off and stick them on, but I didn't do that. I'm actually just going to use them as they are with the backing still on them so that I can reuse it without ruining it and having it stuck to my project. So I'm going to line it up on the bottom, and as you can see, it doesn't really go all the way across. So I'm just going to line it for as much as it will go. And then I'm going to take the same orange, which was a burnt orange color, and I'm going to stencil in this pattern on the bottom using the same color orange that I used on the top. And just very light amount of paint and just using my pouncer. And sometimes you have to go over the same spot on the stencil several times till you get it right. And there it is. Next, I'm just gonna move the stencil over and kind of line it up as best as I could to do the other half. Doesn't have to be perfect. And as you can see, I got that all done. How cute is this? I got this blessed cutout at Michael's and I'm going to paint that the same color off white or ivory white that I painted the bottom half of the pumpkin. And this came in a pack. It said um, grateful, blessed, and thankful. All in one pack. I think it was like $3.99 with 40% off. And I'm just gonna get that all painted. And I tried not to get it on the edges or anything because these things can kind of be tedious to paint. So once I had that all painted, I'm gonna set that aside. As you can see, I put some button ribbon right on the line between the ivory and the harvest orange color that I use or the burnt orange color that I use and I'm just going to run that right along there using just some hot glue and once I have that all on I'm just going to take my scissors and sort of trim up the edges so it's not hanging off make sure I don't have any little strings just kind of trim it so it fits Add a little hot glue if needed. I want to make sure that it's really secure. And look how cute that is. I love that ribbon so much. I'm going to use it on like every project if I can. Next, I'm going to add the blessed to the center. So I want to make sure that it had room to fit. Just add some hot glue to the back of that. And then I'm going to place that right on the center. And that is that. How stinking cute is this turning out? Next, I made this giant messy bow. I just used all kinds of different fabrics, raffia, some lace ribbon, and just tied it all together. Then I had this orange flower from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to hot glue that right to the center of my little bow. And that is a giant messy bow. I absolutely love it. And I just kind of pulled a little bit of color from every piece of the project. Some of the brown, some of the orange, some of the off-white. Then I'm going to take some twine and I'm just going to add back a hanger and I just pulled it through and then just knotted the top and I think this turned out so beautiful. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspires you to make one and as always don't forget to spread the chaos.